Hello hi YouTube, this is Kai Turner and today I'm going to teach you guys how to ping your location and share your location with friends and family on Google Maps. Let's get into it. Okay, so first step is to open up Google Maps on your phone. Once you've done that, then we're going to explain how Google Maps works. So essentially, when you scroll up, you get this screen right here, which tells you all of the, the local shops that are close to you, food, drinks, bakery, uh, the different hotels and different things featured in the area close to you, right? You should see a blue dot on your map somewhere like this. But if you don't, let's say hypothetically, you're over here, right? Your map is over here and you don't see any blue dot. What you do is on the bottom right of your screen, there's a blue uh, button and then there's a white button with like a dot and a crosshair. You want to press the white button with the dot and a crosshair. It takes you to your blue dot. If you click it again, it brings you in to your blue dot and it is directionally based. So if you turn your phone left, it'll turn left. If you turn your phone right, it turns right. Um, it has like a depth sensor using your phone's uh, gyro sensor. So when you're zoomed in like this, it also is good to illustrate that your phone can also do um, pinch to zoom and pinch to zoom out. So if you pinch your phone, you can zoom in to your location. And if you use two fingers and zoom um, and bring them together, you zoom out. See, two fingers together, zoom out, two, two fingers to, um, further apart, and you zoom in. So you can zoom in and you can zoom out. That's how you zoom in and zoom out. Um, now, you want to zoom in as much as possible to your blue dot. And when you get it like this, then you'll realize something that you can actually see your exactly the direction your blue dot is facing. So if you want to ping your location, there's two different ways you can, um, you can share your location. One is pinging, which means to share your exact location where you are right now currently to somebody. And sharing your location, which is a constant, whether you want to do it for an hour or a day or forever, share your location with, you know, a friend or family. So that way they always know where you are in case of emergency or in case they want to meet up with you. So first we're going to go over pinging, which in this case, if you want to ping, we're at the we're at the library right now. Right. I can get the 3D view if you want, but it's, it's better to do it with this view. Uh, so we're at the library. So what we want to do is you click, you press and hold with one finger on, as close to the dot as you can, right? Like this. And you'll get this screen right here, which says, you know, the, the location you are, uh, the reviews, whatever, if, you, if you're at a, a popular place. But the only button you want to focus on right now is the share button. You click the share button and you should get a list of all of your contacts and different people that you can share this location with the button you want to press now is copy to clipboard. If you press uh, one of the other ones, it's probably going to have every app that you have down here um, to share, such as um, different apps, you know, Facebook, Instagram, things like that. But to make it simple, I'm going to say copy to clipboard. After you've copied it, then you want to go to your messaging service or wherever you want to share your location to, whoever you want to send it to. You click on the message thread and you're going to click paste. Uh, you, you press and hold with one finger on the on the message uh, where the blue dot is is blinking. The blue line is blinking and you want to paste the location where it says uh, there. And if you notice, it'll have the exact location of where you actually pinged. So you send it. And then if you see, it, you'll have exactly where you just um, you just sent it to. So when they click it, boom, they get exactly where you are, you know, and this is really helpful and really useful, especially if you're like, oh, well, I want to share where, um, where I am to my friends because they want to know where I'm at. Boom. You can do it super fast and it's super easy to do that. This is probably the most useful, you know, tip you're ever going to get with Google Maps. Like literally, it'll save you a lot when you want to share exactly where you are with somebody instantly. Now let's get into the other one, which is called sharing your location. Let's get into it. Okay, so from the top of the screen, you should see a little icon at the top right of the screen that looks like a picture of you, or it's going to say a letter for the first letter of your name. 
You want to click that and you're going to get into this menu right here, which is going to have all of these different options. You want to click on the one that says location sharing. And it'll have a list of your contacts and where they are currently, right? Okay, so from this step, you're going to want to click on the blue button on the bottom right that says new share. And it's going to bring you into a different menu where you're going to see all the contacts that use Google Maps. And you can also add other members from, you know, different messaging services and things of that nature. I'm going to use my girl as an example in the next section. So let's say for my girl, right? If I want to know exactly where she is, I click this and I can see a live view of it. If I ever click live, it shows me exactly where she is at this current second, right? For me to share my location, I want to click the little button at the bottom that says share location with her, right? With her. Boom. It says exactly where you are. Since I'm at the library, it says that. And you can see exactly for how long you want to share your location for. So, like I said before, you can share for an hour, two hours, a day, you know, however long you want. You know, it's it's totally up to you how long you want to share it. Um, and also, you can, you know, just share it infinitely until you turn it off. And after you've picked the time constraint you want to share it with, you just click the share button. And boom, you're currently sharing your location. And it's as simple as that. To add new people to your share, you want to look at the top right of the screen where it has like a people and a plus symbol. You click that and you can add any contact you want that uses any um, that uses Google Maps, which is pretty much every person in the world. And even if they don't use Google Maps, you click the um, share buttons at the bottom so you can add them on whatever app they use. And then you can get them to share the location once they download Google Maps. So super simple, super easy. I hope this guide helped you guys out. If you have any further questions, leave them in the comment section down below. And as always, have an awesome day.